hope you are well. Welcome to another episode of Allison's Eats. It has been far too long, but we are back and better than ever, and I'm really excited to share this meal with you all. So today, we are going to be making some crunchy baguettes, which are just phenomenal, and honestly, a lot easier than I anticipated the first time I made them but I will say they are time consuming. Whenever you make homemade bread of any sorts, it's definitely a commitment because it does take a few hours because it needs resting time. So if you guys just wanna skip the bread portion, you can jump into our main entree, which is a veggie pasta. And I've mentioned this recipe a few times in my vlogs, but this recipe is super special to me because it's actually inspired by a dish that my husband Brandon and I had on our honeymoon, which was almost two years ago. So I always feel a bit nostalgic whenever I make this meal. And one of the nights we just had this veggie pasta and we just absolutely loved it it's simple yet it does have some kind of uniqueness to it and it does feel more nutritious because we have a variety of different vegetables and spices so it's definitely delicious definitely cozy and then I'll also serve it with a little side salad with homemade dressing so it is gonna be a beautiful meal and I really hope you all enjoy it and you're able to make it for someone you love maybe and just make memories around the table so without further ado let's start baking our bread I'm sipping on a little cappuccino to fuel me for our cooking but you better believe I will be serving our meal with some kombucha in a wine glass of course and just so you know I will have all of the directions and ingredients for these recipes in the description so don't feel like you need to take notes or anything like that they'll all be there so you can just screenshot and easily find them before you go grocery shopping and as you start cooking I also recommend if you like listening to music while you cook this romantic jazz playlist I'll link the Spotify playlist I found but it really just adds a wonderful energy to your kitchen as you cook so definitely recommend that so for our baguettes it's actually quite remarkable because we only have four ingredients for this recipe which I just love the simplicity of the ingredients so the first one is water and we're gonna have warm water and then just regular room temp water and then Active dry yeast is another ingredient, and this is what my packet looks like. They have a variety of different brands, but I just keep probably about 10 of these packets in my pantry. And then another great thing to have in your pantry if you wanna start baking more is unbleached bread flour. I have three flours in my pantry at all times, and that is the unbleached bread flour, just unbleached all purpose, and then whole wheat flour. And those are kind of the ones I use most, and it's just nice to have all three of them in the pantry in case I randomly decide to bake something and then if you don't have the right flour it definitely changes the consistency so definitely recommend using the bread flour and then the final ingredient is kosher salt so really really simple and the first step is to activate your yeast hi so here I am <laughs> So the recipe I'm following, they actually use ounces for their measurements, but in the description, I'll include the conversions to tablespoons and cups, just because I think that's a little easier. So I just poured in my yeast over my warm water and we're just gonna let that sit until it becomes a little foamy. flour and the salt and I always just use whatever I already have out to mix you can use a whisk or an actual spoon but I already had my teaspoon out and I always try to limit as many dishes as possible so there's less cleanup at the end of our meal so after you feel like it's pretty well mixed in you are going to create a well in the middle of your flour mixture and then that's where you're going to put your yeast and to create the well you can really just use your spoon or since I have this measuring cup already out, I'll just kind of twist it and then create that little place to pour in my yeast.
we just add our cool water in a little at a time because you don't want it to be too soggy you want it to be more kind of stiff and have that kind of tough consistency still so that's what we're aiming for and it calls for 10 ounces of water but i actually only used about eight ounces of water and then it was kind of stiff enough where i didn't want it to be too wet like i said so you kind of just eyeball it but i'll show you what mine looks like and then i'm just gonna cover it and we're gonna let it rest in a warm place for 30 minutes chop all of our produce and veggies so that's the plan i just rinsed off my green beans and peppers and tomatoes and the real star and kind of unique little gem of this pasta are capers so if you haven't had capers before they are actually flower buds which is a fun fact and i was just thrilled when i found that out i just thought that was so neat and they're very salty and they do taste a bit like vinegar because they've just been sitting in this jar with white vinegar so if you're not a fan of vinegar maybe just skip out on the capers but i just think these add such a great element to the dish so we'll definitely be putting two jars of those in and we also need to cut our onion and you can use yellow onion but i actually just have a red onion so that's what i'm going to use but either works and then we're just going to trim our green beans and cut our peppers and slice our little cherry tomatoes so pretty simple <laughs> when I'm cutting onions. I know there's little hacks and stuff, but I always forget about it until it's too late. And I just have little tears because of how juicy that one was. But I just went ahead and added that directly into my pan over some olive oil because we are going to end up sauteing the onions for a bit on their own first. <laughs> friends back to the bread so now we're gonna prepare it for its bulk rise so we're gonna take it out of the current bullets in and then we're going to just kind of press it into a rectangle and then fold it into thirds and then repeat that and then have a oiled bowl ready so that once you're done with that you can transfer it to its new home so it can get ready to rise for an hour or two hours until it is double in size. So I just set a timer for an hour and hopefully in an hour it'll be double in size. And it actually is quite chilly today in Florida. So one option, if it is cold where you live when you're making this meal or these spaghettes, you can put it in your oven with the light on and that'll keep it nice and warm and help it to rise easier. Um, so I might try that or I'm gonna put it just by the windowsill kind of in that warm sunlight so two options but fingers crossed it rises okay and we will continue and actually finish our pasta while this guy is doing its thing so i have our onions on the stove on medium high heat and i am just going to let these cook for about five minutes until they're soft and translucent and then we will add in our garlic and green beans mm -hmm. 
to add in our green beans and the reason why I put them in so early is because I don't steam them or anything before I add them into the pan so they are raw and just need a bit more time to soften up and I'm gonna spray them with some olive oil as well. Little kitchen hack is to put some olive oil in a spray bottle so it's just really simple to use and control. We're gonna start adding in our spices as well. And although I really do eyeball these, I'll try to put some more exact measurements in the description when I put out all the ingredients. Since I add them a little bit at a time, it really is just best to kind of use your judgment and also just taste as you go. And if you don't really like spicy food, be gentle with the red pepper flakes because this will add quite a kick to your dish. But right now I'm just going to start with onion powder, garlic powder, and some oregano. Also some black pepper. add into your pan are your capers which you're just gonna want to drain beforehand so you just add them in and I'm just gonna keep it on low medium heat and just kind of keep stirring it around making sure everything is reaching the bottom of the pan just so it can get nice and soft and cooked but I just absolutely love how colorful this veggie medley is and while you are just watching your veggies and continuing to cook them, you can get started on your pasta. So you can just follow whatever directions your pasta says and cook it accordingly. So I did end up moving my dough into the oven with the light on just because, believe it or not, it is chilly here today in Florida. So I thought this would be a more comfortable space for the bread to rise. Once the pasta is done cooking, I drain it and then I add in about a tablespoon of butter and then just mix that around. Time to get back to our high maintenance bread. So now we're gonna split it into four parts. Hopefully yours rose a bit. And so now we're just gonna cut it into four parts like I just said, and then shape it into four loaves with kind of a little point on the end so it looks like that baguette shape. Once you have your little baguette shape, it does not need to be perfect, so don't worry about that. You're just going to put it on a lightly floured cloth, dishcloth, so that's what I did, and then it says to cover it with a oiled piece of parchment paper, so I, I'm just gonna kinda leave it like this, and it says to leave it, oh my, timer's everywhere. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, <laughs> and it says to let it rise again for, 20 minutes. I mean, no, it says 30 to 40 minutes, but I'm going to see what it looks like at 20 minutes. And if it looks ready to bake, I'm going to pop it in the oven because I am getting hungry. Speaking of, we need to preheat our oven. So I'm going to do that now. So at this point, our pasta is basically done. So we just have our veggies in their pan still, and then the pasta in its pot. So we are just going to combine these next and just keep them warm as we wait for the bread to rise and bake. So 
we'll do that we'll combine it and then also i want to just get my plates ready and put my little side salad and fix up that dressing and i also need to grate some parmesan which i love to top this pasta with some freshly grated parmesan so good and if you wanted to add a protein some grilled chicken would be amazing but usually we just have it as a veggie option and it's really filling still and super delish mix it all together and you know we got the best of both worlds <laughs> does anyone else think of that song when you are mixing literally anything <laughs> is helping me grate the parmesan because I don't have a great, <laughs> keep saying the word great, track record with the grater because it's just a little tricky for me. So he's just being a great sous chef. I can't, good, I can't stop now with the buns. Okay, the last baguette step before we put it in the oven is to make a few slashes so that it, again, just looks like a true baguette. And you can use just a paring knife, but I actually do have this razor tool to easily make those slashes. And then after you have your slashes, you're just going to sprinkle it with some flour. For our simple homemade dressing, this is one of my favorite combos. I just take the juice of one lemon and then a few squirts of olive oil and then a splash of this apple cider vinegar, which you can use any kind of vinegar you have, but this stuff is good for you, so I like to use this one. And then some oregano and salt and ground black pepper. that the dressing is perfection to your taste. You can take a little clean fork and dip it in and then do a little taste test and it's perfect. Let's take a peek at our baguettes. Oh yeah. Okay, you probably can't see them at all here. Let me show you. Oh, there they are. Oh, it's so bright. Okay, I can't leave the oven open though. The time has finally come. Let's take these babies out. <laughs> wow look at these beauties so beautiful i actually could have even taken them out a little bit earlier but i think they will be so delicious it seriously smells heavenly in our house Do you think it's delicious, B? I I know you do. <laughs> oh, also we didn't get our kombucha in a wine glass, but we're just drinking it out of the bottle. And also some Martinelli's sparkling cider out of the bottle, because mm. we had some leftovers, so we're just living it up. But the baguettes are my favorite. I barely even ate that much pasta, because I just can't stop eating the baguettes. They're so, so good. And if you want to make this, make sure that if you want to make the baguettes you have that time commitment because like i said they are time consuming but the pasta would probably take you 30 minutes or less it's super super simple so i really hope you guys enjoyed this cook with me and this meal idea let me know if you end up making it and i cannot wait to see you super soon bye bye <laughs>